I'm John Knuckles from CVA, and today we're going to talk about the industrial asset class and the quarterly wrap. So, so far this quarter, the industrial asset class has really faced a low supply coming to market, and that's probably from a number of different areas. The first one is, of course, the lack of availability of land uh, in all regions of Melbourne. We're just not finding that the supply of land coming to market is what it was in previous years. Secondly, we're facing a very low supply of new buildings coming to market, which is a flow on effect of the lack of land coming to market. And thirdly, we're facing a very low supply of buildings coming to market that are existing buildings that are perhaps anywhere from five to 20 years old in all regions. The effects of that are probably in three really key areas at the moment. So first off, what we're finding with the valuation of land is that it's holding from the all-time highs that we probably saw from last year uh, due to the low supply, that there is still a lot of demand out there from owner-occupiers wanting to build purpose-built facilities and also developers looking to fuel their pipeline. Secondly, what we're finding with sale rates is that with existing buildings coming to market, that we're seeing values even holding and even facing modest increases from the all-time highs of last year and going into the start of this year. And thirdly, in regards to lease values, uh, which is probably the sector that we've seen the most change in from December last year to now around July, September, October, is that lease values have increased in most regions across industrial by 20 to 30% from December last year. And that's across all size ranges as well. So not just in the small strata space, but also in the freehold space in mid and large range. When we're looking at the supply of those buildings coming to market at any one time, when we're looking to market something for lease, we're in most cases seeing that there might only be two or three buildings in, in a whole region that are comparable and on the market at the same time, which is incredibly low. Most regions are reporting anywhere between a 0.5 to a 1% vacancy rate at current, which we really haven't seen for a very, very long time. Notable transactions starting with the east included Rooks Road in Vermont that leased for $108,000 per annum net, Petula Avenue, Vermont that sold for $5.5 million, 4 to 8 Haywood Road, Ferntree Gully that sold for $4 million. Over in the inner north and north, Mark Street, North Melbourne leased for $305,000 per annum net. The corner of Bakers Road and Audrey Avenue, Coburg North sold for $2.1 million and Linden Court, Tullamarine sold for $1.545 million. In the south, we leased 30 Hallam South Road Hallam for $280,000 per annum net. White Street and McDonald Street Morty Alec sold for $5.25 million. And Jewarden Street in Notting Hill sold for $1.85 million. And finally in the west, Slater Parade Keelor East leased for $130,000 per annum net. We had a building at Berkshire Road, Sunshine North, leased for $406,000 per annum net and we sold a property in Orbis Drive in Ravenhall for 1.77 million. So overall, in summary, we've seen some phenomenal rates across all regions of the market when concerning industrial property. I'm John Knuckles from CVA, and we look forward to speaking with you soon.